Okay, I promise that I'll be sketching in a bit, but I just wanted to do a really quick unboxing of this amazing box I received from Stationery Selection. I actually saw this box floating around YouTube and I asked them if they would be willing to send one to me for me to try out and review and tons and tons of you on Instagram wanted me to make a video on this so I'm excited to do one. There's also a surprise giveaway at the end of this video so make sure that you stay for that too. So like I said, I reached out to them and I did this because I thought that their boxes were a lot more unique than most subscription boxes I've seen. Most of the time I feel like subscription boxes, especially art themed ones, try to upsell or scam their buyers, but I looked through a lot of their past boxes and everything that they had curated before was amazing. The products that they chose to put into these boxes were also unique and high quality and, and I was just so happy that I found a box that finally had a really good curation of stationery and art supplies. I'm not sure if this is true, but it seems to me that all of their boxes kind of have a theme to them. The box that I received really focused on watercolor art supplies and other goodies, so I was really excited to try it out. Okay, so the palette that they sent has become one of my new favorites. And I'm going to be doing a swatch and a speed paint, including the palette and the sketchbook that they sent in. But I, I was just so blown away by how beautiful the colors of this palette was. The paint itself was so rich and really easy to use and granulated beautifully on the sketchbook. And the sketchbook too is so good. Usually I'm really picky about sketchbook paper. I'll either use really cheap paper that I don't care about or I'll use high quality watercolor paper. But I think this sketchbook is a really nice in-between, which is really great. They also included a beautiful washi tape, a sketching pencil that I've been using constantly since I've received it, and colored lead to go with the pencil. So you can tell that they were really thoughtful in choosing what to include in this box, and it really seems more for artists, which I appreciate a lot. They also included a Pentel water brush, which I personally don't like to use, but I know that a lot of people love it for the convenience during traveling and sketching, and so I'm going to use it briefly later on in the video when I'm doing swatches of the paint. They also include these really cute stickers and I think that they're paper stickers maybe? They kind of feel like the same material as washi tape and they are so cute so I just had to stick one into my traveler's journal. And Mitz, who runs the whole thing, actually included a really cute little snack for me because I mentioned to her that I was really busy with schoolwork this summer and it's just so nice and thoughtful of her. It made my day for sure and just these small acts of kindness really shows how caring she is. So thank you Mitz. So I'm going to be doing these swatches. Again, the paints are so nice. I immediately fell in love with them and raved about it on my Instagram. The colors are so earthy and organic and just inspired me to draw and play around with them. The pigments are super rich and the colors are just so unique and beautiful. I was just so blown away. And actually so many people on Instagram asked me what this paint was, so I think Mitz might be considering making this box available again for you guys to get your hands on. Oh, speaking of mitts, um, I forgot to mention, she's actually a YouTuber that I've been following for a really, really, really long time. I always watch her stationary videos when I'm lounging around and trying to relax, so when I found out that she was the one behind this amazing subscription box, I was not surprised because I know how she has a great taste for stationary stuff just from her channel, so I really had to get my hands on the box. I'm so glad I did because everything that was included I loved and I can't wait to continue using. So check the description box if you're interested in subscribing or trying out the box, I'll leave all the pertinent information there. But I also just wanted to mention that they were on break recently, but I think that they are resuming their service this month in August, so the September box will actually be available to purchase on August 1st. Again, usually I'm really wary of subscription boxes, but I think what they include is definitely worth the price considering a lot of these products, I think, are all from Japan, which aren't really easy to find in the United States or in other countries. So just the fact that you are introduced to completely new products that you otherwise wouldn't have been able to find, I feel like it makes the box really worth it. So I'm going to let the speed paint continue on, just sit back and relax and enjoy these beautiful paints and sketchbooks being used. I'll check back near the end to tell you about this giveaway that I mentioned in the beginning that I'm excited to be co-hosting with Stationery Selection, so...
art subscription boxes around. Mitz and I were talking back and forth and she offered to do a giveaway of this exact box to one of my viewers, which I am so excited and grateful for. It's going to be shipped from Japan and it's a worldwide contest so anybody can enter. The rules are actually going to be posted on Stationery Selection's Instagram account, which I will leave the username on the screen and also in the description box. Again, the rules are there, so just check it out, look at their awesome Instagram account, and follow the rules to enter. You don't need an Instagram account to enter, I believe. The rules are just posted there. I'll be choosing a winner randomly on September 1st, so make sure to enter before then. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun with this video and just playing around with this box, and I hope it was fun for you all to watch too, and I'll talk to you all next week. Bye.